Hello guys, welcome to Somehow I Design. This is Yunus Emin Aljul and he, we are here for the second part of the Advanced Level Tutorial Guide. And as you can see, uh, we are recreating the greenhouse again because in the previous video I have lost it. I don't know how. But yeah, since we have all those curves lined up, I am just squaring things up. Uh, the only thing to consider is the um, you have to select implied tangent in the center curve which is going to be on the symmetric plane so if you if you select implied tangent you are saying to the software that this is the this is the symmetric plane yeah so between the squares i create simple free from free from blend tool and then i use these two curves to create rail which is side class pretty much it's going to be side class and we uh, we will in intersect with these surfaces together since that preform blend has history behind it just follows the rest of the squares i'm extending extending back until it kind of uh, intersect in a, in a in a good way so that we can easily trim out the surfaces yeah and then i use offset or duplicate and move on the y axis a little to mimic our uh, pillar as it is as it was in the sketch so this this pillar is going to be kind of separation between the side glass and the windshield and the roof so the in here at the moment i am creating that and i have duplicated those curves and aligned uh, the curve in the middle so that it kind of follows the changes that i've done i rotated that a little bit because it kind of it was like that in the design sketch and then untrim the duplicated side glass and trim again and in between we are going to be using skin tool to create the body color pillar from A to C so this is why I have pretty much do the same thing again yeah this kind of freaks out that skin tool over there because because the blend between uh, side glass and the windshield roof uh, blend surface is kind of not that correct but no worries it's just uh, i have used freeform blend again we should we should squeeze that thing a little bit yeah so this is how i created the greenhouse pretty much yeah well at this part i have changed the um, color from the material lister so but the thing is actually i have been wrestling up with the model too much over there too much but i have to put this i have to put this in 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 into the second part of the video because this is this is the real uh workload when you are trying to build something you just kind of change your mind and recreate most of the stuff again this is as i said in the previous video this side uh, areas of the front overhang is tucked in too much too much than it's supposed to so i am kind of feeling like i should bring those guys away from a little bit yeah so this seems better right this is like uh, it, it it feels like it is it is better it's correct and i'm trying to understand how that uh, design uh intention will look like or how can i apply that so i'm kind of changing some stuff around yeah it's just too too much arc over there we just gotta flatten a little bit yeah I'm just using radical radical movements. It's just I'm just trying trying to uh, build something, trying to build something that makes sense, so to say. Yeah. And I'm kind of looking at it, and I didn't like it, so I have deleted the front face. As as you can see, I have templated it actually, and I recreate that once more. It's just this time it's more blocky i'm just directly lower the rail tool over there 
uh, just dividing the, the layer organization changed over there a little bit the engine and then rail tool again i just blocked out that front uh, front end to understand how can i shape that in a better way because i know that i am spending too much time on it i should i should move to somewhere else or maybe we should spend time on it it's just so many things on the air right so many things on the air so many things unanswered like i said yeah so i'm like pulling pulling a little bit more with the history open it's just lower side is hollow uh yeah it's this is this is as an angle wise it kind of made much more sense i feel like but yeah just simple draft tool to understand the volume over there in the end we kind of we should add a air inlet uh, future over there so that it makes sense so that yeah it kind of feels like there is a reason for for that opening over there yeah i'm just trying to let's say understand what should i do next and then inserting a curve on surface and then the lady is just rotating around it this is this is pretty much i am thinking through my head what should i do next and then changing the curves a little the reference curves and then recreating those surfaces once more but this time it kind of i feel like it's getting better since we pulled that uh, corner towards the was a little bit far away from the from the front end it kind of proportionally made more sense so that is why i kind of feel i'm on the i'm on the right place uh i do the right things but at this point i'm trying something else what if we close that inlet so what i see is that surface is twisting a lot twisting a lot and it, it just doesn't seem right yeah so naturally we're gonna have an air inlet over there we should have but what if we close with the big uh, draft surface it didn't seem right so i have left it like that yeah pretty much this is the thing only that makes sense so i'm just trying to apply some simple blend see the reaction of the corners right this is i mean once you are uh blocking things out box modeling feel doing doing fillets and blends is always tempting you just i always kind of find myself applying fillets fillets earlier than it's supposed to be so yeah um this seems right yeah what should we do next yeah i'm adding one more cv row and i will pull that uh, curves pull that cvs a little bit to give a little bit volume right and then using big blend over there and I I feel like yeah this this looks nice. This looks nice. I have inserted uh, some curve on surface. I don't know why that I couldn't pick somehow. I have projected another curve and re-projected another curve over there on the right hand side. And then using here from that, making sure those are G two. Yeah, it seems nice. Actually, it seems like we are getting somewhere. We are kind of yeah managed to build something. At least we have something to talk on it, right? <laughs> this is kind of relief because we were. We were in a spot that we don't have anything rather than the empty space, right? 
this is really challenging there is misalignment situation over there it just really freaks me out when it, it was just really freaking me out when I was modeling uh, at that part I just leave that fillet over there as it is no worries it's no harm to anyone you see I'm just letting things go you don't need to be precise all the time you just let 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 things go the only the only the only thing that we should do is kind of mimic the design yeah give the design um uh, some something that we can talk on yeah so i have changed that color as soon as i have changed that uh, dtrl area it just pops the front overhang up right because when you when you start putting the uh, real elements of the design it's just yeah getting getting to communicate with you more the these surfaces are showing itself in a better way so i i'm gonna add that uh, purplish area over there but actually those angles are so steep i have to open them open them uh, once more it should be bigger uh, degree over there this is too tight but i will uh, realize that later on yeah, i'm dividing the surfaces actually when you when you are dividing uh, the if it means that you have um two different uh, layout yeah same yeah look at those chicks <laughs> let's let's color the uh front overhang as well pretty much close to the design sketch yeah it kind of begin to tell us something over there yeah it's totally different than the side view but no worries it, it was just a reference point clearly we have two different design intentions over there yeah i just can't can't uh handle building those surface yeah used some curve on surfaces and freeform blend because yeah it just freaks out over there you gotta change that but no worries i'm just trying to understand how it, it looks like yeah My screen just went away. Yeah. And filleted on top to understand where we are going with those uh, intersected surfaces. Yeah. This is getting. Actually, the, the result is quite appealing. But I gotta undo the fillets. I lost that surface, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That square that up put another surface i mean that edge is something the the hot i can say the hardest part of the uh, design hardest part of the car modeling is to settle with the wheel arc it is the hardest area that you can model the rest is pretty much kind of solves itself but the wheel arcs both front and the rear is really really hard and it's it seems yeah so i feel like this is not this is not uh, right i didn't like it the that angle in this sketch was steeper than what i had so i am revisiting over there i mean eventually it just connects with the uh design feature that comes from the from uh from the hood right but yeah eventually we will do that Or the design feature, we can we can change the food as well. I don't know which one is the right one. We're just experimenting at the moment. But as a as a front overhang, we have ended up reaching somewhere at least, yeah. So 
so I'm gonna close that close that area I'm thinking how to do yeah maybe extending that area and intersecting with those surfaces is a solution yeah. it's just pretty much I'm trying to block up things yeah extend yeah it's just wrong side yeah I'm revisiting the surface. Maybe we can, we should recreate, or we can be happy with what we have. Yeah, I'm flattening this area. Wrong, wrong curve. Yeah. Right now we have strictly straight top edge of that um, black surface. It's just really bugging me out how that untrims itself. Just pain. <laughs> I have trim converting surface surfaces so that we can have simpler. We can have simpler CV layout. Yeah. Yeah, I have join those curves and pro, pro g0 pro, uh, aligning that surface to that curve and then we can we should trim out somewhere yeah yeah i'm gonna project one curve Not touching over there. Yeah, correct. Maybe like maybe uh, lines a bit. This is considerably not easy corner because too much surface coming and meeting at that spot. Yeah. Realigning some surfaces and be intersecting them. We are just pretty much do what we have done in the previous uh, phase. If you if you correct some area, which is in our case, it's the DTRL over there. If you are settled with it, and now the next duty is to align the rest of the surfaces according to that. So it means you are gonna redo again so i realize that it's so it, it it isn't supposed to be g2 you're gonna fill it over there because the bonnet itself is not a curvature it's the positional connection so i left it as a positional connection too and then fill it again yeah this make this made sense yeah we have managed to uh connect those edges so i'm just trying Trying to create a fillet over there to see how it looks. But I would be really surpri surprised if the filleting tool would work, yeah, as it is in one go. It just never works. We should do something else, such as applying free from blend over there. One side is G2, one side is. Uh, G0 positional so that we can create the, the continuous uh, blend over there yeah and yeah, this seems easier isn't it and then we're gonna do the third level of surface which is the small fillet over there I have selected the fillets to fillet patch layout over there because it might uh, exceed the, the, the limits of the fillet might exceed on top of those as well so i have templated out that uh, previous surfaces yeah it seems we have managed to close that area yeah it was a good lesson it's i mean even that only 
is an amazing lesson to have. I'm just simply projecting curves to um, remove that DTRL area. It's just that field is there is not tangent with the uh, black surface. It's just it looks like, but it's not. No worries. No worries at all. Yeah, now it made sense, yeah? I don't know how we <laughs> end up solving that village. It's just making me think. I should give my hours on that. Yeah. For sure we are in a good spot when it comes to the front overhang. And we have our greenhouse. Yeah, we are getting somewhere, aren't we? Nice. Nice. The vertical proportion is looking wider than it's supposed to be, but we're gonna cut that a little bit and implement the plastic mold material so that we can um we can maintain the proportions so yeah let's let's add the dtrls daytime how was the how was it called dtrl daytime running lights thank you guys watching the video and uh, keeping up with me as always if, if you find this lesson is hard to understand maybe you can go somewhere over here to my mid-level tutorial uh, or even if you are a beginner you can go over there again to my beginner series which is pain of course i get it the beginner series of the channel is too old it's been like two or three years that i have been recording that uh, and it's getting too old i'm sorry but if you manage to finish that beginner tutorial i guarantee you you will find the rest of the tutorials is tutorials are so easy yeah well thanks again uh, for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe uh, comment below uh, hit the like button uh, i don't know open the notification ring bell or something like that um, yeah we should we should make the channel grow so i need your support guys and thanks appreciate it see you on the next one bye bye